Hey guys, um, so this is an interactive map that was set up by the MBTA for local municipalities and residents to decipher the data that they're sharing or you know, the criteria. Now these circles here are showing the half a you know the half a mile um, radius um, around these stations. And as you can see in this, you have Anderson Station up at the top, and then we also have Mishawam Station, which is still active and is being seen as such. Now, it's showing these clusters. Now, the data that I saw was that a minimum standard of 75% of these clusters here um, need to be a minimum zoning standard of 15 units per acre. Now, the definition with Woburn is they have to have a housing plan to increase housing by a minimum of 2,800 domiciles or houses, however you want to, or places of residence. And they're seeking middle housing, that's their definition of it, which is three bedroom houses with three bedrooms that can take families, you know. Now, if we go over to here, we get the base map here. It should be showing, um, uh, let's see if we go to this enhanced contrast map. Nope, that's not what we're looking for. Uh, we go, maybe it's the hybrid. It should be, um, I feel like there was one a little better. It's not that one. But, uh, that's just crap too. But basically anything inside this cluster is what they want. And hey, as you guys can see here, look, to whom it may concern, it eats up all of school. And you know, like, this is for residential. This is all commercial. So they gotta be careful with how they, you know, overlay this thing because, you know, we don't wanna cannab... We gotta be careful what we cannibalize here. Um, you know, this business sector is what keeps everybody's taxes low. Um, and North Urban's the one that deals with all the hustle and bustle on that. But we got... Rumford Park, look, running all the way up over here, and then if we, uh, I think I can also get information on whose house is whose here, um, I definitely can, um, oh yeah, look, see that, and it will go on each, each lot, yeah, you got Pine Grove, you're coming right up this way, now, um, whatever it may concern, as far as whatnot is this cluster has to be considered um, inside that 75% zone. And it, it also marks off of that 75% of what is ineligible, right? Streets. So how much real estate does that disregard? And never mind the fact is we have this giant swath of Route 95 cutting through it. So, you know, if you look at it as a whole, and look, what they classify as the village is is not considered, it appears. Um, so that swath of land, and if we start talking the 75%, um, hey, this looks like a minimum standard of 10 to, 10 to 15%, and then we have the roadways. So this overlay, how this thing's done, um, could hurt the industrial park as well. You know, if this, you know, could could get a little weird, but um, uh, the site is, you know, experienced. Dot, but I just would Google MPAC. You know, I can also text you the link too. Um, so, um, oh look, that house is Jimbo's. All right, guys, we'll talk.